In today's video, we're going to be talking all about spindles, more importantly, lift spindles, the benefits of running a lift spindle in your vehicle, why you're going to wanna to buy a lift spindle from WeldTech Design. This is going to be part of your front suspension and almost every vehicle is going to have some form of knuckle on them. And on this particular one where this is off of Ford Transit is your strut goes into the top of it. Now on a Chevy Express or a Nissan, they're actually gonna have an upper control arm, more of an independent front suspension than the Ford Transit, which is a McPherson strut style front suspension. All vehicles are going to have some form of a knuckle, a hub that bolts on to this and that is ultimately what your wheel is going to be rotating on it's also going to have ball joints in it so it allows it to also be able to turn as you turn your steering wheel so it's definitely a crucial part of your front suspension the big benefit in a WeldTech Designs three inch lift spindle for your two-wheel drive van is it's going to give you three inches of lift allowing you to run that 265 70 17 tire without losing any down travel now the Ford Transit don't come with a lot of travel from the factory so robbing any kind of down travel is never going to be good this is going to be easy to install you may choose to have us put new ball joints in it or you can do that as well but just so you know when you do get a WeldTech Designs Ford Transit spindle it will require the installation of ball joints whether you choose to use your own or get a new set installed by us you can see just how nice overall this part is it's going to be big and beefy that's what we want on the front of our Ford van. So next guys, we are going to be talking about the Chevy Express lift spindle. Now this is going to be good for the 2500, 3500 Chevy Express vans. Of course, if you have a 4500 motorhome, these will work as well. The big difference between these two spindles that I have in front of me is one is going to be cast and it is going to be less expensive than our completely TIG welded spindle, which is going to be a little bit more. Why you would want to choose the cast spindle over the TIG welded spindle, might really come down to the wheel that you want to run and the offset. When you get into a TIG welded fabricated spindle, you can see that this neck has a little bit more kickback right here. And what that's going to do is allow you to run a, dip, a bigger wheel with maybe more offset to it. Where the cast spindle, due to just the overall size and thickness of the cast spindle, it does have less room here in the neck, which is really typically made for that stock 16 inch wheel. Or even when you go to a 17 by eight and a half, half inch wheel with a zero offset. If you do find yourself where your tires rubbing your wheel really close, we do make a 5 16 hub spacer kit to give you a little bit more room. You would have the ability to also possibly run an inch and a half wheel spacer on the front if you really needed to space it out. Otherwise, if you're starting to get into more than that, you may wanna stick with the fabricated spindle. Now really, you can't go wrong with either one of these spindles and they are going to lift your van three inches. Both of these spindles are also going to increase the track width by three quarters of an inch per side, giving you an overall track with increase of an inch and a half. Is there not going to rob that crucial down travel? Like we've already talked about in this before by running a coil spacer. You're still going to maintain the factory like ride by running one of these three inch lift spindles from Weld Tech Designs. Now we've saved the biggest one for last and this is one is actually for the Nissan Envy van. You can see that this is a monster spindle and this is a combination of TIG welded and MIG welded spindle. I mean, this thing is just beautiful, but it is giant. This is still going to lift your vehicle the same way as the other spindles that we've discussed in the video. Why we don't like the coil spacers or it's not our first go-to is because we wanna keep all that down travel that is really important important to keeping your vehicle on the ground. Whether you go around a corner, you hit a speed bump, when you put these coil spacers in there, you really feel the harshness of the ride. And we're really trying to make your van drive better, not worse. So this three inch lift spindle for the Nissan Envy is going to do just that. It's going to lift your van three inches while maintaining the factory-like settings of it. It's also going to increase the track width by one inch. So that's going to be really nice, giving you a much wider track width 
making the van a lot more stable. I hope this helps answer your questions as far as what is a spindle and how could a spindle lift my vehicle? So we've kind of gone over what a stock spindle is, what a cast spindle is, what a fabricated spindle is as well. So if we're missing a spindle for your vehicle, I'd of course love to hear what you think we should make in the comment section. Otherwise guys, this class is dismissed.